Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. The Titanfall franchise hits the ground running with the sequel to the 2014 title. Titanfall 2 is smartly designed, well-made, creative, and refreshing. Unlike the previous game, Titanfall 2 actually includes a proper campaign. And what's more, it's excellent. Without spoiling all the details, the journey follows Rifleman Jack Cooper and his newly assigned Titan, BT-7274, as they battle the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation, or IMC. The IMC ravaged Cooper's home planet, laying waste to anyone who stood in the way. Cooper and BT must face boss battles, solve puzzles, and work together to accomplish their mission. The narrative is surprisingly interesting and engrossing, resulting in the kind of well-rounded gaming experience I haven't seen in years. There are many surprises and even some mind-bending moments. After playing, I actually want to delve deeper and further explore the lore of the Titanfall universe. If you're new to the Titanfall franchise, the campaign provides a great opportunity to learn the ins and outs of combat and titans. Movement may seem complex and frenetic, but it's actually quite easy to learn and very forgiving if you miss a jump or don't wind up exactly where you want it to be. The game's level design is phenomenal and creates many memorable moments. There are shades of Half-Life, Call of Duty, and even Halo in Titanfall, yet it forges its own path, creating a unique experience and identity. As much as I love Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2 has the best single-player campaign I have played in 2016, hands down. I would even argue Titanfall 2 is worth purchasing on the merits of its campaign alone, and that's not a recommendation I hand out lightly. Yet most people purchasing Titanfall 2 will do so for the game's multiplayer. So how does it stack up against the original? Again, Titanfall 2 improves on its predecessor. Players can customize their pilot, choosing from seven different tactical abilities. These include an invisibility cloak, a grappling hook, a shield wall, and more. I love games that let you play the way you want, and Titanfall 2 lets you do that. You can customize your pilot's weapons, grenades, and more based on your playstyle. Meanwhile, the selection of Titans is far more diverse than in the previous game, and players can now choose from six different Titans. Each of these has their own build and abilities. Some are designed for close quarters combat and others for distant engagements. Just as you can customize your pilot, you can personalize different aspects of your Titan. One of the coolest features in Titanfall 2 is that you can play your Titan completely differently from how you play your pilot. This keeps the experience fresh, since you never know what you're going to be facing on the battlefield. There are a ton of different multiplayer modes, including the fan-favorite Attrition, which features AI enemies in addition to real-life pilots on the enemy team. If giant mechs aren't for you, there's also a No Titans Allowed Pilot vs. Pilot mode. In a time when it seems like games are giving players less and less for their $60, Titanfall 2 is literally giving things away. All of the downloadable maps and modes for the game will be free. With franchises like Call of Duty, Nickel, and Diamond Gamers more and more with each entry, Titanfall 2 is a breath of fresh air in this regard. The game's first expansion is due out December 3rd, or November 30th if you pre-ordered the game. It includes a remastered version of the popular Angel City map from the first Titanfall game, a new weapon, six new kits for your Titans, and a new execution animation for your pilot. Developers Respawn say they have plenty of other content in the works and will continue to support Titanfall 2 after launch. But why Respawn or EA chose to release Titanfall 2 so close to Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is beyond me. There is little doubt that this did impact the game's sales, which is a terrible shame because it is fantastic. In fact, Titanfall 2 was better received by game critics than its main competitor in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Hopefully the holiday season will see more players experiencing a top-notch game in Titanfall 2. If you were one of the people on the fence about picking up the game, well, trust me. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching.